Hi, welcome to the Brief Book Reviews channel, otherwise known as An Old Guy Reviews the Book That He's Read This Week. So what's the old guy read this week? Well, the book I've read this week is called The Short Straw by author Holly Seddon. Released here as a hardback in the UK on the 14th of September 2023. I'd read one of Holly Seddon's previous books, The Hit List, and really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd give this a go. And sure enough, I enjoyed this one as well. What's it all about, I you say? Well, the story starts with three sisters. They're called Nina, Lizzie and Asa. Nina's the uh, the eldest one. Her superpower is that she's entirely capable and tends to be the mother hen, the person that looks after both when they were children and now as adults, uh, looks after the other two. Lizzie, the middle sister, who's the quiet, shy, retiring type, and Asa, the youngest one, who lives a, lives a bit of a, an itinerant lifestyle. She's pet sitting, house sitting, house sitting, and they never know where she's going to be from one month to the next. Um, Asa's in a particular hurry to get home because she needs to uh, get back to Paris because she's house sitting a cat, a cat called Poisson, believe it or not. So she's got a flight from Newcastle Airport and she needs to be there. Trouble is, weather's getting worse. They're in a storm. Nina decides to pull the car off the motorway because there's a massive tailback, see if they can get, get the A roads. She's She knows this part of the world. They used to live here years ago. So during when they were children. So she thinks she'll be all right. And, and as you can imagine, Weather gets worse, Nina gets lost, they run out of petrol, they end up sliding in a massive puddle against the side of a tree, and they're stuck. They've run out of petrol, what are they going to do? Nina sprained her ankle getting out of the car, so Lizzie and Asa help her, help her out, and they're thinking, we need to get somewhere where we can make a phone call, seek help. They remember that as children, they, they lived in, in this part of the world, and their mother worked as a housekeeper at a place called Muthwaite Manor. And that isn't that far from where they are. So off they go in search of Murthwaite Manor. And they're quite shocked when they get there because it's always been a, an old, imposing, Gothic-type manor house. But now the, the driveway is completely overgrown. It's completely in dark. It's, it's basically derelict. They tensively push on the front door, manage to get in, and they think, well, you know, one of us is going to have to go uh, for help uh, while the other two stay here. And do what they did when they were kids. The dad taught, taught them whenever they were arguing about stuff as kids, they did the who picks the short straw and they do the same. Now, I won't give the uh, too much of the plot away. to say So one of the sisters has to go and seek help. The other two stay in the manor house. The problem with this manor house is their mother, Rosemary, used to work there as a housekeeper. And it's always been, it's not a, not a particularly nice place, originally owned by a brigadier that employed various waifs and strays and was a somewhat um, you know, hard disciplinarian and, and not very well liked and later taken on by his son William. His American wife, Selina, disappeared and, and now in the house, when Rosemary last worked there, their mother last worked there, it was just William and his daughter Jane uh, and, and one other person that was helping him with the, the grounds. So it was a strange place, and when they were children, Lizzie was friends with Jane and always regarded Jane as a bit weird. So it was quite strange for the three girls to be going back to this place that uh, they were never quite sure of. And, uh, and thus the tale unfolds. The, uh, there was a great build of, of intrigue. The, the girls in the house suddenly realised, and there's a few clues there, that maybe, maybe there's somebody else in the house and there are, you know, there's, there's definite signs of activity there. Uh, the, the one that's gone to seek for help is thinking, you know, is somebody following me? It's a dark night. There's, you know, it's a dark, foreboding type of place, and a whole the whole atmosphere builds to one of uh, intrigue. There's a secret in this house, and that secret, you know, has connections to all of them. And it looks like before the end of the night, that secret's going to be revealed. So a really good read. There's. The suspense build is a slow burner, but the suspense build very, very well. Um, the relationship between th the three sisters is also intriguing. It's very, we have Nina that was always capable that during the course of the uh, the evening d decides that maybe it's not too too bad to ask for help after all. We've got Lizzie, the quiet, shy, retiring one, who due to the events of the evening starts to come out of her shell a bit. And we've got Asa, Asa the youngest one, who was always a bit of a tear away, thinking, you know, maybe I need help from my sisters as well. So really good, you know, uh, really good, intense, intriguing read. Uh, it's just, there's the, the, you know, haunted house murder mystery side of it. There's the way the three sisters interact with each other. 
and I really enjoyed it. Great read. 350 pages, read it in two sessions. I'd give it 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. And that's it for this week's brief book review. 10-10. Do we do it again? Thanks for watching.